Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone love into this. Your mom in the fucking sand. You know, you talk about guys coming into their street clothes to yeah. deliver a baby. Um, when Jeff Daniels hosted Saturday Night Live, um, they were doing a life mask of him in the makeup room because he had to play um, Jay Leno with a big fake chin. Uh-huh. So they put the plaster all over your face. They call it, I think, a death mask. Mm. And they cover everything except for your nostrils. So you mm. can't hear, you can't see, your hands are under the plastic. I did it once for, for Jay Leno too and I passed out in the Ooh. chair and uh, they gave me smelling salts and I did it again, but I could deliver it developed claustrophobia from it for a long time. So when this happened to Jeff Daniels, like a year later, I, you know, oh. I empathized with him. I, and the, the head writer came up and he says, did you hear what happened to Jeff Daniels? It's Friday night, they're doing the show the next day. I go, no, what happened? He goes, somebody sabotaged the mixture, the cement mixture uh, of the, the death mask and they can't get it off his face. Shut up. And he had a five o'clock growth, you know, beard, and they couldn't pull it away from his eyebrows because it grabbed onto everything and all that was, open was his nostrils. I'm feeling faint now just talking about this. And they tried to pull it back and pull water down and they put straws in his nose, but that only caused a nosebleed. And so he had red blood all over this, you know, pristine white mask and they couldn't get it off of him. And if he threw up, he would have drowned in his own vomit because he couldn't get it off. What did they end up doing? They'd have to take a crowbar and smash his teeth open. Oh, you're messing with me. How else are they going to get it off? What'd they do? Is there a solution? So like a- Lauren Michaels, the producer, knew a couple of plastic surgeons. It was a Friday night. They were at a party. Called them to come to the studio from the party and to help get this guy out of the mask. So they came with X-Acto knives. No. They pulled the mask back a little bit, enough to get the X-Acto knife down there and cut his <gasps> eyebrows off, each one. And they got that part off. And then they got onto the eyelashes and they had to gingerly cut Stop. each eyelash off. And they pulled it all the way down below his nose. And now it's all the five o'clock beard. So it's all stuck. They had to give him shots of Novocaine as they gently pulled it away, inch, you know, centimeter by centimeter until it's all off. And then he comes up the next day, his face is all blotchy red, no eyebrows, no eyelash. He goes, did you hear what happened to me? <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, what happened? <laughs> Holy shit. But his wife heard about it, I heard, and she was in the hotel and she had to run into the bathroom and throw up. She was so nauseated by the whole... Yeah. I, let's be honest here. That is the worst that, story. If that happens to so many other people, there's no show Saturday, right? Like no, there's right. like Jeff Daniels... That was a rare thing. But I'm saying like he's the person that the horrible thing he can... Like his attitude, I'm saying, yeah. was able to like, hey, yeah. you know, yeah, we'll, he we'll just, go on. Yeah, but yeah. there's a lot of people that would have been like... Oh, they would have been this. a wreck. Yeah. Wait, did they figure out who had sabotaged the formula? Well, the I mean, theory is, and I don't know if it's true, but there was uh, someone in the makeup department that was fired, and uh, as a grudge, she mixed the things together. And I so wish you had said it was an actor. That would have been so much <laughs> better. Know. It was me. If it was, you're like, ah, oh, fucking. Mm-hmm. That is the most horrible story said, I've ever heard. Thank you Sandler for Sandler didn't get that. his sketch in that week. He was kind <laughs> yeah. of grumpy. That is nuts. Could you imagine them gingerly cutting your eyelashes yeah, away like from the thing? Hammered, oh. plastered, you know, plastered half in the bag. Because <laughs> I've, uh, I've done those plaster casts of like my body or mm-hmm. my face. It, it is really, it's terrible. But, but you can feel the seal when they go, when they go in and take it off. And you're like, okay, I'm, I'm almost free. Oh, yeah. it, it heats up. It heats Oof. up. And it so gets, that thing can actually burns. kill you. That could it kill could you. It could smother you. Yeah. Because you don't have any sensation because you're, you're hearing in your mouth well, and your eyes. I've not done it to my ears, though. Oh and, my and I tell you, I developed claustrophobia from I that. I would, too. I couldn't go through the tunnels in New York to get out of New York. Without, Holy shit. I had to, like, have a headphone on and headset. And if a plane got stuck on the tarmac, I would, you know, I would be terrified. Oh, you just watched a highlight from your mom's house. And if you want to see more, just watch one of these videos or highlights here and definitely subscribe here. That way you can be kept abreast of all the brand new. Yes, I said the word, Tom. Don't judge me with your eyes. Try it out.